Okay, this will walk you through how to um, install a server-side Red5 application. In specific, this is a recording application I've created. Um, so I've got a whole bunch of different versions of Red5 here. Um, I'm downloading the pre-compiled version of the recording merger application, and there's the zip archive for it. So you've got some the properties file, and I version one um, RC1 still has broken recording in it, so we've got to use the source version from the SVN, which it, it has all those weird symbols because I'm using what's called Tortoise SVN. Um, so just kind of ignore those symbols. This is what the root directory of a normal Red5 release looks like. In the SVN version, there's a couple more directories, but this dist folder is really essentially our um, root Red5 directory. So I'm going to put my properties file in there. And my absolute path to FFmpeg looks good. But my streams directory relative path is off a little bit because I need to get rid of that dist. Okay, that's all set. Now I'm just going to copy the compiled um, recording merger folder into the web apps directory. And then in order to start Red5 using Red5.bat, it requires some system environment variables to be set. So I'm just going to double check that I have those to this version. Yep, I've got my path to Java. Um, there it is, Red5 home. So that is that pointing to this directory? Yes, it is. That should be your root red5 directory. If by the time you see this, they released um, RC2, you, sh you could use version 1, release candidate 2, because recording is fixed in there. So here it is. It's starting using the batch script. And you'll see at the bottom there, the launcher launched the recording merger application. So uh, okay, streams directory is where it's going to record the videos to, and then this is just the tutorial on technogumbo.com. So I'm going back up to the the Flash recording application that's actually embedded into this page. We can use it to connect to the local media server that I'm running. Recording merger. Let's see here, connect, and you can see that uh, there, Red Five. Acknowledge that it's got a connection. There's me. I'm very excited, as you can tell. We're waiting for the buffer to run out. Buffer's run out. So I'm going to tell, call that function in the Java code to initiate FFmpeg. You can see FFmpeg's output, and there is the merged file. So that is, uh, that's the lowdown of how this kind of works. So this is one method for combining those files after we separate them. Thanks. Good luck.